If there's anything to describe nature, it's nothing short of being amazing. With its multitude of flora and fauna that we have yet to discover all of, how can you ever stop being in awe? Speaking of, today we're going to be discussing another wonderful creature made for us to marvel at, such as the Blue Sea Dragon, or simply the Blue Dragon. Before we dive right into it, please give our video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button with the notifications turned on so that you don't miss any of our new releases. So, going back to the topic at hand, here's some amazing things that you should know about the Blue Sea Dragon, physical characteristics of a blue sea dragon. Known scientifically as the Glacius Atlanticus, this curious creature is known for a lot of names, such as the blue sea slugs, blue angels, and sea swallows, and belongs to the family of sea slugs known as nudibranches scientifically. It is a shellless gastropod mollusk in the family of the Glossidae and is native to temperate and tropical oceans worldwide, where it freely floats in the currents, most specifically in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Scientists and researchers researchers have yet to quantify how many of these blue creatures are out there in the wild, but there are at least four known similar species of the blue dragon. They only grow to about 1.2 inches long, but they eat food and much bigger than their size, in particular, the blue button jellyfish and the Portuguese man of war, a marine hydrazine native to the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. Their name is derived from their camouflage color. The blue dragon's namesake is more than just for show. It uses its coloration to blend in and float freely at the ocean's surface. Surface. The blue pattern that makes it distinctive is faced in the upward position to camouflage it against the blue color of the sea, which also hides it from its natural predators above, such as seagulls and pelicans. On the other side of this creature, it's got a light silvery gray color that camouflages it against the water's bright surface, as well as predators below, like sea turtles. There's four different blue dragon species. The Glossius marginatus is one of the sister species of our blue dragon, which differs from our topic creature right here, because the marginatus is a complex of four genetically distinct cryptic species and is found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Glossius benetti, on the other hand, is an undescribed species native to the South Pacific Ocean. The other two undescribed species are Glacius thompsonani and Glacius mcfarlane and are known only to reside in the North Pacific Ocean. They pack a sting! Just because they float freely in the ocean's current doesn't mean that they're easy to hold and defenseless. If its camouflage of color does fail to hide it from its predators, both above and below the sea, then it turns to stinging as a defense mechanism. Just to be clear, the blue sea slugs aren't venomous at all, it's in their own biology. However, the food that it eats, for example, the blue jelly, contains nematosis, which the blue sea slug stores and uses for defense. A nematosis is a specialized cell in the tentacles of a jellyfish or other cylindry containing a barbed or venomous coiled thread that can be projected in self-defense or to capture prey. So, by eating the jellyfish or the Portuguese man of war, it stores these organisms cells, making it concentrated so that way when you come in contact with a blue dragon, it releases a pack of stinging cells, which is quite painful. Like leeches, blue dragons are also hermaphrodites. A hermaphrodite is a distinct characteristic feature of certain animals where they can have a complete or partial reproductive organ and produces gametes normally associated for both male and female sexes. Mostly hermaphroditic animals are invertebrates, such as flukes, snails, worms, and slugs. Blue sea dragons are also hermaphrodites and in the process of reproduction, they mate with extra care using a long, curved, and almost S-shaped bend in their genitalia. Due to their build, their anatomy keeps them safe from being stung by their partner while in the process of reproduction. Blue sea slug mating can result in a string of 20 eggs that they lay on floating objects, like the floating carcass of their prey or in driftwoods. A group of blue dragons are called a blue fleet. Like many animals that have names for groups, like schools for fishes, the blue dragons also have a name for their group, which is called a blue fleet. Fleet. Aside from their fleets, they float along the blue-tinted siphonoras that they eat. Although this action is ideal for mating and feeding, being clumped in a group makes it more favorable for oceanic winds to blow them ashore by increasing their exposed surface area. When a blue sea slug is caught in the current and is being pushed toward the beach, they curl into a ball to protect themselves. On the off chance that they are blown ashore, a blue sea slug's venom is still potent even after they die. This is a pretty dangerous predicament, especially for humans who walk barefoot on the beach, which may result in a painful sting. They're not to be kept as pets. Pretty as they are, the blue dragons are not to be kept as pets, nor are they ideal to become one. But we gotta admit though, its color is really pretty to look at and may add a pop of color to a fish tank or aquarium. Don't be fooled though, they aren't for sale because of their dietary needs. Since they feed on usually the blue button jellyfish or Portuguese man of war like we stated previously, it's hard to find a substitute for what they'll eat if they're enclosed in a tank. Other than that, their sting is also an area of concern. A pretty 
obvious one. As a result, even the best aquarium keepers pass on keeping these creatures in their tanks. They're popping up in different locations worldwide. Like we had stated previously, these animals are currently found in places such as the Indian, Atlantic, and Pacific Oceans. But sightings of the blue dragon have been found all over the globe, most lately due into the climate change with the oceans warming up, pitched in with the increased storm activity over the years, they've been found floating farther and farther into various coastlines. There's also the notion regarding their food, the Portuguese man of war, which have been increasing in population in the Mediterranean Sea. Analysts revised the span of the blue dragons 93 miles farther north in the Bay of California after fishers netted them as part of their catch in 2015. They were even spotted in warmer waters of Taiwan back in 2017. The latest sightings have recorded them being taken place in May 2020, wherein they shocked beachgoers in South Padre Island, Texas, and then again in Cape Town, South Africa in November of the same year. Blue dragons have been appearing more lately. The latest sightings of the blue dragons took place just this February in 2021 on Australia's east coast. Photographed by a marine biologist student named Lawrence Scheel, these blue sea slugs have been hitching a ride on a strong northeasterly wind that ended up leading them to being washed up on the shore. As Scheel had stated in an interview, you have to be exactly at the right place and at the right time to see these wonderful creatures. Quote, I was really lucky to have caught them all at Long Reef, he said. I think they're just fascinating, and whenever I post about them, fans want to know more, he added. Sarah Jo Lobwein of the Austrian Environmental Educators Association also shared some sentiments on this fascinating creature's characteristic feats. Quote, they can't swim against currents, but sometimes you'll see them stuck in air, twirl around, and do somersaults, Lobwein said. Quote, this helps them get in a bubble of air inside them so they can keep afloat and upside down. Just like many other researchers who have been studying the blue dragons, Lobwein has also been doing her own research and analysis. Quote, I've noticed that in the past few years, years, we're having a lot more of these nudie branches than we've ever had before, she said. I think it's the combination of warming or changing seas, possibly leading to a trigger in the explosion of the animal at certain times, but reliant on that perfect mix of the effect of the moon on tides, wind direction, water temperature, and the currents, etc. Another observation that she noted is that when these creatures like to make an appearance, quote, they seem to arrive a few days after a full moon. The moon phases affect many marine organisms' reproduction and at different times of the year, such as coral spawning, Lobween explained. Lisa Gershwin, another independent marine researcher, also echoes Lobween's statement by saying, quote, some of this totally rings true to me, said Dr. Gershwin, an expert in the blue fleet and jellyfish. Quote, warming positively affects the population of many marine organisms, she said. Another sighting of the blue dragons that ended up on national TV took place in last May of 2020, where tourists of the Padre Island National Seashore off the coast of South Texas have sighted these creatures. One of the locals who saw the blue dragon was Hunter Lane, a seven-year-old boy who spotted several of these creatures on the shore and collected them in a bucket to show his father. Quote, Hunter loves sea creatures and thought he had found a blue button jellyfish, said Trey Lane, Hunter's dad. After they picked it up in a beach toy, he proclaimed to tell me that he had discovered a new species. His father was a local and had been visiting the area for over 30 years, yet has not seen a single blue dragon until that day. A little while later, Hunter's mom, Leia, also discovered a few more blue dragons washed up after his son's initial discovery. Quote, one washed up right right next to my foot at some point. Luckily, I saw him and didn't step on it, she said. She added that Hunter really wanted to touch it because it looked soft and squishy. However, she says that the boy had second thoughts when he considered the blue dragon's bright color, which he compared to a poisonous dart frog. Quote, he's kind of brightly colored, which is a warning, the boy said, according to Lee Lane. Smart kid, she added. Blue dragons washing ashore has been a clear indication of climate change and the number of sightings has increased lately as well. And with that, we've concluded today's topic of amazing things that you need to know about the blue sea dragon. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And until next time, we'll see you later.